Hi, Kamal. Welcome to the Business Standard Banking Show. Uh, this week in your column, you've talked about a very interesting aspect of what the fintechs are doing. Now, uh, can you elaborate on how the fintechs are transforming the agenda of financial inclusion, which was originally started by the Pradhan Mantri Janthan Yojana? Uh, thanks, Ruchika. Uh, yes. Um, what I have written is that uh, yeah, things are happening, but more needs to be done, particularly for the people in the so-called bottom of the pyramid. You know, for you and me, everything is fine. UPI and um, Google Pay and um, money transfer uh, through our mobile. These are all good. But if you go to the hinterland, I mean, the digital literacy is not very high. Things can be done even with feature phone. You don't need a smartphone. Uh, so this uh, lot of ignorance about how to move ahead. And in that sense, I think it's a little overhyped. Even this, let's talk about uh, um, PMJDY, what you were talking about. Now, this is the world's largest financial inclusion drive. Okay. I mean, 51 crore plus people have been covered by that. Uh, I'm not getting into whether it's successful or not, the kind of money there. And of course, the, uh, they get the government subsidy directly, leakages have been approved. All these things are different stories. But do they actually know what is the use? Most of the uh, beneficiaries, like uh, you can get an overdraft, okay? Many of them don't know. And they're scared to come to a bank uh, to find out their balance, banking balance. Uh, they are not um, comfortable with uh, doing transactions. So essentially, uh, fintech is more hype than what we are seeing. Uh, that's what, and um, to be honest, these are all not uh, my views. This is based on a book by Vagban Chaudhary, a uh, professor of the ISB, and one of the other gentlemen, uh, two of them, did little, uh, they did extensive research uh, in the hinterland across India. And there's a result. Uh, so many you've more. Talked about, Samal, you've talked about things like digital DD, uh, balance, but all you've said, you know, voice features at ATMs, etc. How much of this is? Is actually, uh, you know, translating to uh, digital literacy and financial inclusion, and what more should the fintechs do? Yeah, exactly. I mean, these are the ideas, and not all of them have been implemented. Uh, so, what, like, for instance, uh, for police, you know, what number, three digit number, for ambulance, for fire brigade, why not have two, two, two bank balance batao? Even on a feature code, you can do this. So anybody and everybody across India uh, press this number and been told what is the what is the um, what's the, his or her bank balance. Similarly, why not make it uh, absolutely necessary that every child born into a poor family gets X amount of money from the government to open an account so that you know along with the birth certificate you have also bank. Uh, so these things need to be done. Digital DD. Who is a digital DD? You could be a digital DD. A homemaker could be a digital DD. Even a high school student could be a digital DD. She becomes a digital DD the moment she wears a uniform. And this digital DD can help people in the hinterland for banking transaction. What is the balance? If they want to get money, if they want to pay back uh, to the bank, etc., etc. Of course. I mean, they need to be responsible and there are lots of checks and balances need to be there. But with slight, um, a little bit of incentive, you can get digital DD. Uh, similarly, like the book also talks about that, uh, why not you have, uh, you know, um, uh, lenders who will be uh, in, the, in the hinterland, who will be uh, financed by banks, but who will be not as expensive or usurious as the money lenders. So there are multiple ways of doing things. And uh, yes, we are doing pretty well, even by global standard. I think we have moved ahead tremendously on the digitization front, uh, but there are more to be done, particularly for the poorer section of the society. Absolutely, a lot of scope there. And uh, the thing you talked about digital did uh, remind me of the banking correspondents that are there in the villages to help people uh, transact with the banks. Uh, Taman, moving on to another development uh, where uh, it has been found that, according to RBI data, the liquidity deficit of the banks is highest in over seven years. What is the uh, impact of this? How do you see it? So essentially, the uh, sell of 
dollar and as a result of that rupee um, getting out of the system and the high surplus with the government these are the uh, more critical i mean these are the two uh, contributory factors apart from uh, public currency with public rising and uh, every month gst flow and every quarter gst plus uh, advance tax now what is the what is the impact on the market you see the it's not like banks borrowing uh, cost 6.75 is the msf rate as happening overnight money also now getting little more than that say 6.995 but these are all in the ultra short term even in the one year uh, treasury bill uh, yield is not reflecting anything and of course on the on the at the higher end there is not much of impact so there is i don't think we should be really concerned about that rbi is rbi is there to open up its brr uh, triple br is that uh, variable rate uh, and the, the market will have to pay i mean the uh, banks will have to pay 6.75 yeah that's absolutely. it the short term, very short term that's very well put uh, very succinctly what are the reasons why uh, this has happened and you've talked about the impact as well great ideas the mal about uh, financial inclusion and hopefully now that these ideas are out there we will see some uh, action on ground as well thank you so much tamal as always for uh, sharing your insights see you next week thank you if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve Nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.